It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. We're live, large, and in charge on your feel good breakfast show express on SABC3. Now, we know that gaming uh, in recent times has become a lot more than just a hobby. It can be a passion and sometimes even a career path. And in fact, esports in South Africa has grown at quite a tremendous rate in the past year. And we're also lucky enough to be joined by two of its finest right here on the couch. We welcome esports personality. Yes, can we call you that, Gareth? Yeah, well, Gareth Woods in the house. And then captain of E Energy Sports All Women's CS Go team, Julia Robson. Good to have you here too. Thank How are you, you doing? I'm good, thanks. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So, Gareth, I remember last year when you were here and we were talking about the uh, DGL Masters that had like a million yeah, rand the in the pool. pool yeah. um, how, how's esports grown in South Africa since then? Well, I mean, just from a prize pool perspective, there are now a couple of tournaments that are boasting massive prize monies. I yeah. mean, uh, the Metal State came out with a two million, uh, million rand prize pool just for CSGO. Uh, ESL have joined in South Africa now. They've got a two million prize pool. The Masters will happen again. So from a money perspective, it's certainly grown. But I think the exciting part is the reach down that's happened. So not only are you having the top players playing for these huge amounts of money, but the leagues that kind of feed into these uh, tournaments are getting bigger and bigger, more and more players. So I think that's the key. I mean, yeah. we spoke about this before, if you compare it to professional sports, it's great having these awesome tournaments, but what you want to see is kids are playing the sports, yeah. more people are playing at university level and so forth. I was so about that's to say, the exciting part. It feels like we, we, we're talking like uh, Premier League contract negotiations right now, but Jules, as the players, have you felt the effects of these big changes happening in this, uh, the esports arena? Definitely. I think that what people don't really notice is that all these really big events happening has really motivated players mm. to increase and grow the community and really strengthen the competitive scene so when we look at the players they really up their game and their skill level and more teams have joined the leagues um, you've seen female teams come out and yeah. they've also started growing out and getting into the esports leagues and that's what i want to tap into where it comes to to your experience that in a world where gaming is usually known as something that's done by boys or guys, what, what <laughs> words of encouragement or advice do you have for women out there to really get into the gaming scene, refine their craft? I know that one thing I'd say is like start playing FIFA with your boyfriend. That's going <laughs> to start you off pretty well. Well, it really depends on what you want to achieve. So yeah. um, if you want to be a more of a casual gamer, then just get onto a game that you love, have fun, just put in some hours in it. Um, soon enough, you'll start learning more about the game and you'll just evolve. Um, but when you want to become more of a professional player, if you're looking into the esports scene, if you're looking to become a little bit more professional, or you know a bit of a game already, yeah. just find a game that you love and then learn the different skills from it, games, gain some more game knowledge, and then um, just improve. Just uh, play a lot more, play a bit more competitively and... Absolutely. Well, I'm hoping that they will, they'll take a lot of encouragement from that. And I can't wait to see... Uh, I hope that this is a, an arena that, that women will dominate in. Yeah. You know, take over. Give, give the challenge to the guys out there, you know. Uh, but otherwise, I'm going to ask people to follow you guys on social media Sweet. at Gareth, at the Gareth Woods at <laughs> Jules underscore Bish. And then, uh, of course, you can find out where games are happening, where you can go and support your favourites. Thanks, yeah. guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, it is time for us to say goodbye. <laughs>